So the Wicked Room was born about 12 months ago. And uh, I, I think a lot of you may have similar experiences. Maybe some more beer? Um, I'm not going to lie when I say that the cannabis and hemp industry has a lot of unscrupulous people. Okay. I will say firsthand that over the last 12 months, I have probably met 98% of them. The problem is, is that I'm too determined to figure out how to get to the end point. So when I first started talking to investors, one of the things that they told me was, wait till your prequal, wait till you get a little bit further, wait till you get progress, wait till you get a little, little bit further. You're still an idea, you're still an idea. Okay, okay, I get it. After all of those conversations, I stopped talking to investors. Because there's one thing I knew I had to do. And this is it. This is our very first formulation. It took us about six weeks to come up with it. Um, Wicked Root CBD Oil Auxilium. Uh, in our industry problem, CBD is facing multiple issues. But from my standpoint, here's what we're addressing. Transparency, consistency, and trust. In this industry, there is no CBD company out there trying to create a product that will help people. Okay, it's, a, it's been driven by the money, it's been driven by a lot of uncertain things, but today, what I'm here to tell you is that with my product and what I'm doing, I'm looking at hitting the transparency button, and that is by telling our customers, our patients, what's in our product, 100%. There's nothing to hide, it's cannabinoids, it's terpenes, it's phytocannabinoids, and we do have THC in our product. So if any of you are looking to have a THC, for, it's not THC free. Um, we believe that with our formulations, we're able to give you a more consistent product. Why? Because what with our proprietary uh, processing environment, which we will talk about in a little bit, uh, we can get ourselves a consistent product every time, whether it's tincture, whether it's uh, gel caps. We also have nano, nano emulsion technology that we're working into our product line. Finally, when it comes to trust, there's one thing that I want to do. I want to be able to put a product out there, and I don't care if it's labeled shit. I don't care. What I care for is what I stand by, and what I stand for is making sure I help people. I spent 15 years as a paramedic, and let me tell you something. There's nothing more rewarding than helping somebody. And I don't care if I put my hand on their, on their shoulder and said everything is going to be okay. That was enough. That was enough medicine. But with CBD, what I've realized is that I've given this product out to about 50 people now across the nation. As of yesterday, we got our COA, and I can tell you that what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing from a lot of our patients, fibromyalgia, a lot of our first formulation was pain and inflammation. Can't really say that on the, on the package and labeling, but that's what we went for. What I'm getting from a response from these patients, it's unbelievable. That's why I'm, I'm very, I don't want to say too much today. I want you to try it because you will call me. You'll see what we did with this product it is very different than the CBD industry, especially when we get into transparency and what we put on our labels. The last thing is cost to produce. How expensive is it come up with distillate this today? It's pretty darn expensive. There is a lot of CapEx expenditures that need to take place, plus going through the, the steps. We're looking to reduce that. So the very first thing that we're looking at, I'm sure you uh, saw that article uh, on uh, Leafly, where there were 47 CBD companies out there, 20 of them did not even have within 20% of what they had on their label. To me, that's just unacceptable. That, uh, customers cannot build trust with a brand if you do not put 100% of what's in your product on your label. That's just what we, from my belief, you can't make a, a medical decision on your care if you don't know what you're ingesting. It's as simple. So once we get into uh, our consistency, trust, uh, we're working on different formulations so we can have up to five different products of the same formulation so we can have a different ingestion methods. Nutrient facts. One thing you'll notice here is all we want to focus on is what is our cannabinoid structure? We want people to know what they have. This is the very first label that we're putting out there. You don't have it here because I just got this information yesterday morning. So, was able to recreate it, get it ready for this presentation, but our absolute next bottles that are gonna go out of production, we're gonna be 
transparent about what's in our bottles, okay? Now, we're focusing on this brand, so we're focusing on pain and inflammation, morning blend, it's gonna be more of a focused alert. Uh, we're going to be working on our evening blend, sleeping, formulations for Accentus is the PTSD, and let me tell you why this is very important to me. I've spent 15 years as a medic, and I realized having lost five different paramedic partners to suicide, mental health is a very big issue for me. So my, my goal here is to create a line that we can serve the military and first responder uh, population with PTSD. It's live, it's well, and I, I've seen it. So we need to do something for that industry and to help them. We're gonna focus on a line that's gonna call our blue line. So all of that will be free of charge to first responders and military with PTSD. That's gonna be our support. So now you talk about the gel caps. There's a lot of people here taste this tincture. You know, this is pretty plant forward. I don't mind it. I like flavor in a lot of what I do, but I did get my uh, 18 year old daughter to tell me, dad, that's awful. And, and to her, that's a different demographic, right? So gel caps are gonna be an important part. Also, getting into emulsion technology. Emulsification and nano emulsion is going to be huge for us because ultimately, bioavailability is the single most important thing that we should care about. How is it going to be ingested and does it work? We don't know. We do know with nano uh, technology, we can increase bioavailability. So with all of our lines, we're gonna add that bioavailability of nano emulsion to our products so we can have better uh, uptake. Oh, almost lost that. Bam. Vapes. Here we go. If ever, I think the, the, the um, scenario that was explained to me was, what is the best friend of a car salesman? It was a flood. So now all the cars in the city are gone, and now he's the only one selling cars. Well, what's happening in Michigan right now is we're very interesting with the vape crisis. It's been banned, and recently there has been a recent uh, uptick in one of the companies being able to produce a product. What we're sitting in in Michigan is a vacuum. There is a need for a product that is 100% plant, and we have the extraction process that does nothing about adding anything to our product to be able to go into a vape cartridge. So CBD vapes, this is our CBD vape line, and these will be coming out within the next 30 days. So. As of yesterday night, I onboarded and I am the only CBD company on Weed Maps in Michigan. So that was a great, you know, to be honest with you, serendipitous, this event, here we are, we're on Weed Maps, you can go on Weed Maps right now, we're on the front page. So that was within 24 hours, I'm really happy to, to say that we've gotten that, that far. Market. Tons of what I've already kind of mentioned, we're talking through this. A lot of the presentations before, the, you know, it's a great investment opportunity. It's a matter of what, what your flavor is, right? Well, here we are, we're talking about partnerships. And this is one of the things that I learned when I told you about those unscrupulous people in this industry. Well, I met them all. And then I was able to go through and fire all those in my head and start from scratch. And what I did is I found this amazing man. He's over there. He's young, he's 27, brilliant uh, inventor over here. And he tells me about this, this machine that he's working on and I'll let him do more. But what I learned is that my vision for making sure we're transparent with patients and giving them what they want, I have a machine that now gives me 100% plant and I don't have to go in and add artificial anything. Okay, now he's helping me, right? That's what true partnerships do. So with Huron Botanical, that's what we're doing. We're gonna be the first company going retail with this patent pending process with this machine. We're the first. I, to talk about checking off boxes, I was feeling pretty good about that. We've been contacting with Vessel. I don't know how much you know about this company named Vessel, but first impressions are everything to me. When somebody holds my product, I want them to go, hmm, there's some thought that went into that. There must be meaning behind everything that is on that bottle. I want to know more. That's the impression I want people to think about our product. I don't have to recreate the vape. I have to recreate a better experience. And that's what our product will do. And that's what the branding in that area will do for me. Um, in talking about weed maps, awesome. 
We've also been in talks with Jade House, Jack Rare, Jungle Boys. They want in Michigan, big time. So there's a lot of talk of us actually becoming a white label vendor for processing because that's what really what we are. We're a processor. We're making products and we can go wholesale, retail, however. So there's going to be a number of white label services we provide. Now, I can't wait. Paul? Paul Carey. Come on up. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm really loud, so... This microphone's probably unneeded. I'm just going to set it down. Uh, I need to use it. Okay, awesome. I'll just talk really low. How you doing, folks? <laughs> so a um, little background on me. I, a decade ago now, uh, started the uh, lovely journey into the cannabis industry. I was 17 years old, and I thought, well, I'll just grow weed and sell it. That's a genius idea. Any, any 17-year-old would think that's a genius idea, so that's what I did. <laughs> Uh, I went to college and realized that college was not what I wanted to do with my life. And I thought, I'm just going to dive headfirst into the industry. Because like any great idea, was born in a garage, working 40 hours a week at a regular job and 40 hours a week in your garage, building something. And that's what we built here. So this is the standard process to get a product to market in the CBD industry. It's real easy. You have your plant biomass. It's generally trim or whole plant material. Sometimes it's bucked material, flour. You run it through an alcohol extraction. That's a, that's a standard normal in the industry. You do a winterization. It pulls out a lot of plant fats and unneeded material to make a cleaner oil. That product is then filtered again, distilled, decarboxylated for chromatography and separations. To then, we use the vape cartridge filling machine and final packaging as vape cartridges, but it could be any. That's a nine-step process. And by the time you get to the end of that process, you've refined out a majority of the medicine in the plant. It's not full spectrum anymore. Now that's isolates. Guessing putting isolates back in to make what Mother Nature made on its own, in my mind, is impossible. So we went with a standard one-step extraction process. And I built in a molecular filter that pulls out compounds that you don't want in your end product, like chlorophyll or heavy metals. We make functionalized filters for pesticides. This is a huge problem in not just Michigan, but in California. People just using different chemicals to grow their plants. What comes out of the machine is a full-spectrum oil that's whether it's CBD or THC, in one step. So I'm not paying a person at this step, in this step, in this step, in this step, and this step. I just pay two guys to run a machine. The small unit, I say small unit, it could be bigger. It's, it's our big unit right now, but one day it'll be a big unit. Uh, it'll be the bigger unit. Can do 300 pounds a day. Thad has purchased two of these machines. That's 600 pounds of material a day. It doesn't seem like a lot when compared to alcohol extraction, but yielding 10% on your material, that's 60 pounds of material from 600 pounds of material ran. So the simple numbers, 10% of 660. That material is ready to go right into products instantaneously. There's no more processing that needs to occur. And because there's no more processing that needs to occur, not only is the purity needed as it, it's correct, but it's also the full spectrum whole plant extraction. So you're getting what they call in the industry, the entourage effect or the synergistic effect. It's not just the isolation of CBD or CBG. In this case, it's CBDA, CBD, CBG, THCA, Delta 9 THC, just like the nutritional facts label that he showed you, they're all present. And by preserving those without having to do the extra steps of refinement, you're getting more bang for your buck. And you're not having to have a workforce complete all these steps to get to an end product. And that brings me to the next slide here. So this is... I call them rubies. If some people in the, in, the, in the marijuana side of the business, they call them diamonds. I, I like to call ours rubies because that's a giant CBD uh, slab, we'll call it. It's, it's solid isolate, but because it isolated itself in this full spectrum oil, it is a full spectrum isolate. So you're getting the purity levels of isolate, but you're also getting 
the entire pharmacological effect of the entire plant in one spot. So I'm not going through steps of fractional distillation where you're boiling a substance and you're picking it out at different vacuum pressures and different temperatures. And you're, it's not a guess because they have fraction finders, but it's a guess when you reintroduce all of these back into one oil. And that's what makes this oil so unique in its nature is because this oil is completely proprietary. No extraction technique currently does this. We do it in one step and there's no post-processing. So that's the, the, who I am. That's, that, that's, that's what, that's what I am. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. <clears throat> so sales and marketing at this point in time, uh, we are live on our website. So you can go to our website right now. We're connected to a bank. Uh, we got Dart Bank in Michigan who has taken our THC accounts as well as our hemp accounts. We're live. Uh, we got Square all hooked up. Everything's live and well. Uh, we were able to uh, also this next week, we got multiple uh, meetings with dispensaries all around Michigan. Now that we have a COA on this product, we're going straight to the dispensaries who know what cannabinoids are. They're going to be our easiest customers right off the gate. From there, uh, we've got the CVS's contacts. We got the, the Rite Aids. We are working on the medical side. I've got 75 letters out to chiropractic offices. Just yesterday, I received my first letter back. They want me to uh, present our CBD products. We're focusing again on the medical community. There's a lot of other places where it's going to work, but right now I'm gonna go where I know. And that's the, the contacts that I have, which is in the medical community. Uh, so also last, you know, I mentioned that I've been in uh, 15 years as a, my own video production company, Setla Film Productions. You Google Setla, you'll find me. Uh, we're bringing that ability to Wicked Root. So just as an example, one of the things that I had dreamt up in my, my wild media days, I went for three years and visited EMS systems around the world. I spent 10 days with London Ambulance Service, rode with them, interviewed patients, tried to understand why were they so good at cardiac arrest survival rates. I needed to know. So what we did, we created a web series. It lasted three years. What we learned about patients and outcomes was awesome. And you can't get that on white paper. You can't get that by reading something. You can only get that by understanding what your patients have gone through and how your product has helped. So my goal here, moving forward, our media is gonna focus on the patient, the, the, the survival, the, the stories, because that's who we are. This is one big story. We're about ready to solve a lot of issues for a lot of people. I don't need to tell my story. I'm gonna be telling theirs. So, that is it from a, a sales marketing for, for right now. Here's our facility plan. We have a facility in Lexington, Michigan, right here. Uh, we are going to start our production in uh, the affection pole barn. Uh, this is our Steve Jobs moment to an extent, but we're getting this started here with our, uh, with our production. And then we have the greenhouses that we will work on propagation uh, genetics for hemp farmers in the local area. Uh, that is a big need in Michigan. Hemp farmers are lost. They need all the help they can get. So we want to help them in the beginning and then help them on the back end as well. So that is what we plan on doing in terms of our uh, temp and humidity control rooms, help them dry. Uh, then we're going to go into um, our media space. That's, that's, that's going to be my home. So I didn't get all the testimonials in here, uh, but these are just testimonials that came back after the first couple of weeks that I've been sending out. I have got emails upon emails and uh, Facebook direct messages from about 30 people that I have not been able to put on here of different medical conditions, their feedback and everything. The tincture you have is from these people. They got a full bottle and uh, I'm in the process of getting them more because the outcomes have been so wonderful. So. Money. Everybody loves money, right? Well, here's the deal. Um, you can put all the numbers you want on a, on a spreadsheet here, okay? I can tell you this. I want you to see one thing. Every one of these numbers is based off $3.50 a gram. I can tell you right now what the market is. It's not $3.50 a gram with our tincture. We're selling our tincture at $30 a gram wholesale, $60 retail, okay? 
So when you look at these numbers, I just want you to pay attention to one thing. I do not want to come in here and say, look at how big we can get. It doesn't, that doesn't do me any good. And it doesn't make me feel good. Because I am telling you, this is, if I had to go to wholesale, we're going to be a $56 million company in a few years. <sighs> Unfortunately, we're going to be a $56 million company in a couple of years. And it's because these numbers are all based at the very minimum that we could possibly get on the market today. That's it. This is what we're looking at. We're asking for 1.25, okay? Uh, a lot of this has to do with our, uh, we've got a couple products in formulation and done now. We're going to market. We have about 20 other products that fall in line. That's what that's for, that 550. Greenhouse, moving in, that can be a late ad. Again, one area we know the Michigan market needs. Uh, second extraction, third extraction, fourth extraction, what does the market need? I can tell you, Michigan, I know hemp, as we've already been told, hemp is going to be made, there's going to be a lot of hemp out there. The bottleneck will be us producers. And as long as we have the ability to produce a lot in the hemp world, we're never going to have to worry about purchasing it. Because in Michigan, we can always do a 50-50 split today and not cost a thing out of pocket to get that hemp. So, uh, so these are the investment options that we've talked through. Each individual conversation can turn into whatever. I, I can tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somebody who understands the passion, desire, and us ability to get to market. I also want somebody who's gonna come to us and say, I know exactly how we're gonna approach but it maybe distribution, maybe it's uh, going into different medical clinics here in California. I don't know. I do know. I'm looking forward to a conversation with one of you. I don't need everybody. I need one, because this is it. There's my family. We're Michigan fans. Go Blue.